This morning's adventure starts out in Oceanside. The goal today was to head out to the 209 and troll to the 312 in search of bluefin tuna. For this trip, I had planned to go out with a friend, but they canceled last minute, so I ended up going solo. Prior to launching, I did reach out to a few fishermen who were going to be in the area, and I asked what channel they were going to be on in case I needed help. To be honest, this trip was brutal, but also very thrilling, and I'm looking forward to sharing this experience with you all. Most of my videos on this channel are filled with music. This video is going to be a little different, as I'm mainly going to be talking about my journey on the water as the day went on. However, don't leave just yet. I got some insane underwater and drone footage that you're going to want to stick around for. Second little patty. Um, oh wow, there's a lot of anchovies under this one. Um, but I'm not seeing any any fish below. Um, there's a lot of bait out here, that's for sure. We're gonna go ahead and continue. It is super nice out here. Uh, we're around 15 miles out. Um, we got some dolphins in the background. There is a boat off to my left. And then we got a giant barge way over yonder. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep moving. We have about 14, 15 miles left. Alrighty, this is the third patty I'm stopping at. Well, not stopping at, but just, just a little drive-by. See what's around. Holy smokes. Nothing. Yeah. Alright, and onward. Oh my goodness. You, you could not ask for better conditions out here. I'm around 16 miles out and it is just dead flat um we still got i think 10 more to go give or take stopped on a few patties lots of anchovies and a few mula mula jellyfish uh just a stringer nothing what's going on guys josh here today we're out on the water in search of some bluefin tuna so we are at 17 miles out um it is amazing conditions like glass perfect um it's just it's hard to find patties because you know i'm going up and down and i'm low to the water but um i made it out to a sp i see what i think is a whole bunch of bait um like a really good school of it uh so i'm gonna go ahead and just match the hatch i'm gonna throw on something tiny um that's a, yeah, um, start turning there too. It's probably a good idea. Anyways, um, I'm out here solo by myself. There's a few other fishermen out here. So they are on channel, I think 74, last time we spoke. Um, so far, no one's gotten anything. Um, and we are just floating around seeing what's out here. Would love to get some drone shots. Um, I did see a blue, or not a blue whale, I did see a whale on my way out here. Um, so, you know, for starters, to match the hatch, I'm going to throw a Colt Sniper. It was silver, but, you know, all the stuff's been kind of chipped away on it. Um, and, yeah, that's a, that's a good school of bait. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around. Well, nothing's wanting to play there, that's for sure. Um, uh, we're gonna go onward back to this bait school that we were at earlier, and I'm gonna put the GoPro under and hopefully get some rad footage.
Oh yeah, I think we got some pretty cool footage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue towards the um, 209 or 213, one of the two. Alrighty, you know, I am happy to announce that after a, you know, not so brutal, but long two hour ride, we are at the 209 bank. Um, currently, 20, I, I think it was 24 or 28 miles. Um, but yeah, finally here. Whole lot of nothing, super calm. Um, it's so eerie hearing nothing. Like when the motor's off, dead quiet. You don't hear birds, you don't hear other boats. It's, it's really eerie. Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and tie up. Laugh at me all you want, but we got some funky look. Camera died way quicker than I thought. Anyways, before you judge me, we got some fabulous crazy local helmet setup. So we got, I don't know, we got a giant stinking spinning reel on a little Walmart rod. Will it stand up? You know, probably not. Will it be fun to catch something on it? Heck yeah, you better believe it. So for, so for this one, I am gonna tie up a, uh, it's like a tiny Rapala. So guess who left their scissors and pliers at home? Yeah, this guy. Anyways, we're gonna be throwing this guy on, trolling it in the back. See what happens. I was told they're eating small stuff, so you know what? I was like, you know what? This this is the smallest thing for, for trolling I got, so. <laughs> Let's see how it casts. Cast pretty awful. Alrighty, so we're trolling at around 10 miles an hour. Uh, my plan is to head to the 213, since right now we're at the 209. Um, I believe, you know, it's about five miles apart, so, you know, quite a bit of ground to cover, and if I see any patties, I'll just troll past it. So, um, yeah, until the next update. Okay, coming up on a, on a nice patty, um, I'm gonna do a troll by, but I'm gonna try to get some underwater shots, because it's, I don't know, barn door size, per se. Oh, no way. Honestly, that was pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get another shot of the Mula Mula, um, and hopefully I don't catch the kelp, but I probably will since my line just dragged directly over it. Bro, that Mula Mula, oh! There's two of them. There's four. There's five. There's six. Oh my goodness. Honestly, this is really cool. So I'm gonna stay a little longer. I'm gonna go pretty much paddle over to the kelp paddy um, and grab some more shots because that was awesome.
right. We're, 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 we're gonna get some drone shots of these guys. There's, like underwater was badass, but I want a little more. Like this is, this is rad. All right, got my shots. Time for the fun part, not really. That was cool. I got the shot. That was epic. Oh yeah. That was really cool. Go, my least favorite part. We're standing up for this. I thought I could sit down. No thanks. No way. I hate catching the drone. It's my least favorite part. Or I'm sorry. Let me let, let me let me rephrase that. I love catching the drone rather than it dive bombing into the water, but I hate catching regardless. It's it's terrifying. Alrighty, so we did we did some flying. We we saw some fish, not not the species we were looking for. Um, right now we are at we're we're on the corner of the 312. Um, it's currently 9:30. Um, I don't want to be out here so long to where it's like extremely windy and then it's a pain in the butt to get back in. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start heading back. Um, on Fish Tracker, there is a giant warm spot. So I'm just gonna go on the edge of that and see if I can't find anything. I think that's where we were earlier this morning when we saw all those anchovies because it only seemed to be in that like general area. Um, other than that, gorgeous conditions out here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start heading back in because I wanna get back to port at a reasonable time um anyways i will go ahead and put the trollers back out and um keep you updated when something else exciting happens Alrighty, so at this point i thought it'd be a good time to possibly answer some questions you might have first being when you're out in the water that stinking far what do you use to navigate so my two main apps i use are google maps and navionics now google maps only works so well until you run out of service and navionics works when you have no service and even on airplane mode i also bring this bixby power bank to keep my phone and other accessories charged especially after flying the drone your charge goes down significantly second question you might have is what happens if you get a hole in your boat especially when you're a whopping 35 miles away from civilization you know, worst case scenario, let's say one pontoon goes completely flat. You still have your air floor and the other pontoon to keep you afloat. Will you be sitting sideways? Yeah, most likely. Will you sink? No, you won't. Now let's say this were to happen. I have my charged radio on me at all times and I can always ask for help by nearby vessels or I can reach out to Boat US as I have a membership with them in case I needed to be towed. I think everyone's biggest fear about inflatables in general is that most people think of Walmart beach ball plastic. It's not like a balloon where if you get a hole in it, it's going to pop and go flat immediately. Most of the time when you get a hole, it's going to be a pin sized puncture. I always bring fast setting Gorilla Glue, which you can get at Walmart, and then I put it on my finger and then place it on the hole and that is a temporary fix. 
and then when I get back home, I'll patch it up normally. Okay, so we're still out in the water. We just hit our 10 mile mark in regards to, we have 20 more miles to go. Um, you know, it's, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it'd be a lot windier and choppier. At least it hasn't picked up yet. Um, we got to see a lot of fish. Um, not the right kind though. We saw like mula mula and whatever those other fish were with them. I don't know what they were called. They look like opali almost, but they're like super blue. Um, dolphins like usual. We saw one whale. Um, we're still making our way in. There's a boat in front of us about two miles. Um, but yeah, we got, we got a whopping 20 more miles to go. So hopefully I start seeing land here soon. It's so eerie not being able to see any landmarks. Alrighty, so land is in view. Uh, we're at the four mile mark. So we are almost back home. Uh, wind has picked up as you can see. So it's a little more choppy, a lot more wet. But um, yeah, not too bad. And about 20 minutes later, we have made it back safe and sound. Now before I let you carry on with your day, let me go over a fun few specs with you. First being my setup. I have a Scout 430, which is made by Scout Inflatables. It's all inflatable, so no fiberglass. It's 14 feet in length. I have it paired with a Yamaha 8 outboard motor to include a 6 gallon external fuel tank which pushes me along the water between 15 and 18 miles an hour depending on how much I'm loaded up. Round trip today I used a total of 3 gallons and my trip length was a whopping 68 miles. It took 2 hours to get out to the 209 and 2.5 two and to get back. One thing I need to change for my next offshore outing is this seat. I need something with a cushion because straight plastic made me walk funny for the next following days. Last but not least, a little self-promotion here. I do videography and photography on the side. The dream is to work for myself full time in the long run. Here are some shots and brands that I've worked for in the past. If you or someone you know is looking for videography or photography services, you can reach me through Instagram or shoot me a text via the number on the screen. I really do appreciate you watching these videos I put out, whether it's all the way through or just a couple seconds in. I've always enjoyed being able to edit and share a story through my perspective and give you, the viewer, something entertaining or valuable from it. If you have any questions or comments, you can shoot me a message or leave them down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next adventure.